Rev up your engines! <laughs> it's time for the Scotty Kilmer Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a power steering rack on your vehicle. Now in this case it was easy to find the problem. The power steering rack was just pouring fluid out of here, so we have to replace the whole rack. Years ago I tried fixing them, but it never works. You're best to replace it with a new rack. Now the first thing you have to realize is the tie rods don't come with the new rack. So first you want to loosen these bolts here that hold it on. Then remove the bolt that holds the tie rod on. Then knock the tie rod off. And now you can unscrew the tie rod from the rack assembly. And off it comes. And of course do the same thing on the other side. Then you remove these stabilizer bolts from the torsion bar. And unbolt the torsion bar from the frame here. Torsion bar is out of the way. You got to slip it backwards to get enough room to get the rack off. Then you remove the two nuts and bolts that hold the whole rack to the frame of the car. There's one here. And there's another one here. Then you have to remove the power steering lines that are right here. And those are often hard to get to. So I use one of these crow foot wrenches and stick it on a ratchet. And that twists them right off. Once you get the crow foot on the fitting here, it easily just turns right off. Then you remove the two power steering hose lines. The last but not least, you push the little rubber boot up and you get to the pinch bolt here that you take off so the whole thing slides off. And out it comes. Then you wiggle and curse and swear and get it out. And here we are, the old one and the new one. We'll match them up to make sure it's the right part. Here's a trick so your tie rods will be the same. You get your old one and you measure how far out the bolt is. Then you take that bolt off. Then put it on the new tie rod assembly the same distance. That way the alignment will be about the same. Granted when you're all done putting it together you might have to go to a front end shop and have the front end aligned perfectly but at least this will get it close. Then just slide the rack assembly back on, cursing and swearing, until you get it in its little grooves. And you slide the steering column shaft in and tighten the pinch bolt here that holds it so it doesn't slip. Then you put the hose on and tighten it with that crow's foot wrench you got. Then stick the bolts in and bolt the power steering rack to the frame. Then you bolt the torsion bar set up back on. Then you screw the tie rod on until it touches the nut. And then tighten that nut up. So it doesn't slip and then tighten the tie rod bolt on the bottom And of course then fill it up with power steering fluid So the next time your power steering rack starts leaking why not fix it yourself? And remember if you've got any car questions just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel And I'll answer them as soon as I'm done driving this car